All right, hope everyone's doing well. So I just want to give a 10 minute video over today's price action. First, let me just, let me set this up. So, you know, really here we had a bear channel. First thought is that we will test the highs of this bar over here. So three consecutive bull bars always in long probably going at least a little bit higher uh, possible second leg trap and we're testing this gap uh, outside down bar but it's a doji no reason to sell below it big bull bar but we rallied so rallied bad follow through probably going to rally and get bad follow through possible double top kind of a second entry buy at the open it's also you can call it a wedge parabolic wedge doesn't really matter one two three so you know probably bears get out below this is probably going to evolve into a trading range. Also, you're pretty close to the target top of this bar. Surprisingly big bear bar, probably going at least a little bit lower, but you got to question the tail. And we're at the bottom of the range, so what's the follow through going to look like? Disappointing follow through, strong enough probably for at least second leg down. This could be all you get. And now we have a second entry buy. Uh, if I was a bull, I'd probably get out above the bar. Probably not going that much lower. And you can see what happens. Surprisingly, outside up bar, bears tried to sell. Bears that sold to close tried to get out of break even, which is they were able to. Bulls probably buy above the bar. Uh, if you buy the close, you kind of, you know, again, you run the risk. Some bears will sell, hoping that you set up a second entry, but this bar just got too big. And which also, when the bar just gets too big, traders don't want to sell below it because the risk becomes too big and then the risk reward, the risk reward becomes worse. And if you think about it, if you're a smart, if you're a bull, you're better off driving the bar down early and then buying into the close, which is what happened. It's also a 50% pullback of this rally. Inside bar, surprisingly big bull bar, could not close at the, um, could, you know, bad close. We're also at the open of the day. So here's the open. So you may be thinking, we went this many points above, maybe we're gonna go the exact number below and kind of stay at trading range with the open being in the middle. Rallying up, bad follow through. So again, kind of a wedge and strong enough breakout, we may get a second leg down. So one, two, three. But also strong enough rally, any pullback. Excuse me, any pullback will probably be bought. Big bear bar, but also far away from the moving average, bottom of the trading range, and bulls bought it. Uh, bulls will probably buy above, and they did. Back the open of the range. Problem with these days is if you go four, four points above, traders sell, betting that we get regression to the open. If we go four points below, traders buy, betting that we get regression back to the open. And we're just hovering around the open, not really any great trading. And we're selling off. Maybe we'll test the lows of these, uh, this higher low. You can argue kind of a major trend reversal. Bear trend, trend line break, lower low, and then a higher low, but probably need a double bottom. Tight channel, so first first low may fail. And we're starting to go sideways. Probably we'll test back to the open, which is what we did. And that's pretty much the rest of the day. Most importantly, trading range. You know, just, just change the style of the chart. Look at a line chart. Here's the open. You know, we went far. You know, here's the open. We went far above it, far below it, a little bit above it, below it, above it, below it, and just hovered around the open. And even if you look at a bar chart, I haven't looked at many bar charts on this computer, but here they are. Just kind of change the. Do like that. Well, let me set this up a little better. There we go. And you can see we just sideways. So overall, not much to really say. Trading range day. 
until you get a strong breakout with follow through and until you break above all the bars to the um, left it's still a trading range one thing to point out over here I'll mention during uh, the uh, webinar that when a question was asked if you sell to close this bar you kind of have two choices with management you either get out above the bar or it's probably better to use a stop all the way up here the problem with putting a stop up here is it's a trading range stop this is not a major higher a lower high which means even if we go above it we could still be in a bear trend and sell off which is what exactly what happened same thing down here this is barely you, know, you can argue it's a major lower high it's really not it's uh you know it's not really i mean it's iffy you know you can make yes we went above a high we you know decent bull bars it is above the high so you can make the argument that it's a major lower high the problem is we didn't break any above anything really significant we just went above a minor lower high so I, i'd still lean towards that being more of a minor higher low just as this was so if that helps let me know if you have any questions thanks